Well, a man accused of murdering two Canadians on the island of Dominica wants to be let out of jail. American Jonathan Lehrer asked a judge for bail today, saying he's being denied medical attention behind bars. Lehrer is accused of killing Montreal's Danielle Langlois and Dominique Marchand in December of last year. CTV Genevieve Beauchemin reports. American Jonathan Lair pleaded for a court on the lush island of Dominica to free him. His bid for bail is based on medical grounds. In written statements previously given to CTV News, Lair says that he was informed by his physician, who he's not able to see now, that he has an 85% chance of having prostate cancer. He also says that he was denied access to a urologist, nearly died of a ruptured bladder, and is malnourished in jail. The American businessman who moved to the remote island with his family in 2011 broke his silence from behind bars. His spokesperson says international media reports have been unfair. Lehrer and another American, Robert Snyder Jr., were arrested last December, alleged to have killed Canadians Daniel Langlois and Dominique Marchand in Dominica. Some people were, like, crying, saying, oh, it's them, it's them, I know it's them. The murders shook the Caribbean island and made international headlines. Langlois was well-known in Quebec as a creative genius behind special effects in movies like Jurassic Park. He and his partner Marchand were admired for their philanthropy on the island. Reports have swirled that a long, bitter dispute between Langlois and Lair over a shared road could be at the center of this case. Lair now says the dispute was no big deal to him, and a final court ruling has yet to be issued. The fight was over whether a road called Morne Rouge Public Road was indeed public or private, as Lair argued. It cut through his 18th century cocoa and coffee estate. Lair claims he wanted to prevent damage to his historic buildings and had provided viable bypasses. Lair would not say where he was at the time of the murders, but in the days that followed during the investigation, he says he was never questioned by police about the killings. The decision on bail is expected next week. Sandy. Okay, Genevieve, thank you.